The Stockholm School Swedish, Stockholmskolen, is a school of economic thought. It refers to a loosely organized group of Swedish economists that worked together, in Stockholm, Sweden primarily in the 1930s. The Stockholm School had, like John Maynard Keynes, come to the same conclusions in macroeconomics and the theories of demand and supply. Like Keynes, they were inspired by the works of Knut Wicksell, a Swedish economist active in the early years of the 20th century. William Barber's comment upon Gunnar Myrtle's work on monetary theory goes like this If his contribution had been available to readers of English before 1936, it is interesting to speculate whether the revolution in macroeconomic theory of the Depression decade would be referred to as Myrdalian as much as Keynesian. History and aspects Two of the most prominent members of the Stockholm School were Stockholm School of Economics professors Gunnar Myrtle and Bertil Olin. The movement's name, the Stockholm School, was launched in an article by Bertil Olin in the influential economic journal in 1937, Some Notes on the Stockholm Theory of Savings and Investment. The article was published in response to the publication of Keynes' magnum opus, The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money in 1936, and its purpose was to draw international attention to the Swedish discoveries in the field, many of which had predated the discoveries of Keynes. Gunnar Myrtle was early in supporting the theses of John Maynard Keynes, maintaining that the basic idea of adjusting national budgets to slow or speed an economy was first developed in Sweden by him and the Stockholm School. Topic. Scandinavian welfare state Myrtle and Olin went on to further develop their theories, and in so doing, they developed the intellectual underpinnings of the modern North European welfare state. Their theories were embraced and implemented as national policy by the two powerful arms of the Swedish labour movement, the Swedish Social Democratic Party and the National Labour Union, the Swedish Trade Union Confederation. In the post-World War II geopolitical situation of the Cold War, with two rival predatory political blocs, their theories also achieved wide international appeal as a third way, i.e. a middle way between a capitalist economy and a communist economy. The objective of this third way was to achieve a high level of social equality without undermining economic efficiency. Topic. Leading members. Gunnar Myrtle, professor at the Stockholm School of Economics, and later Stockholm University, spent many years in the U.S. writing the book An American Dilemma, The Negro Problem and Modern Democracy, an investigation into the situation of African Americans, funded by the Carnegie Foundation. Myrtle co-authored, together with his wife Alva Myrtle the book Crisis in the Population Question, published in 1934. The book served as a major source of inspiration for the construction of the modern Swedish welfare state, relying heavily on government intervention and social engineering to create a people's home, Swedish folkomit. The work was later criticized for its discussion of racial issues. Myrtle received the Bank of Sweden Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, commonly known as the Nobel Prize for Economics, in 1974. Bertil Olin, professor at the Stockholm School of Economics, was party leader of the Swedish Liberal People's Party, the largest opposition party in the Swedish parliament, for over 20 years 1944 battling the powerful incumbent Social Democratic government. Professor Olin developed, together with Professor Eli Heckscher, a standard economic model of international trade, the heckscher olin theory. Olin received the Bank of Sweden Prize in 1977. Gustav Kassel, professor of economics at the Stockholm University, created the standard mathematical formulation of purchasing power parity, a central concept in microeconomics. Dag Hammarskjöld, economist. Second Secretary General of the United Nations. In office 10 April 1953 to 18 September 1961 when he died in a plane crash on a peacekeeping mission to the Republic of the Congo Leopoldville. Dag Hammarskjöld is the only person to have been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize posthumously Alfred Nobel's testament explicitly states that the prize should be awarded only to the living. 
Eric Lindahl November 21, 1891 to January 6, 1960, was another member of the Stockholm School. He proposed a method of financing public goods in accordance with individual benefits. In the Lindahl equilibrium, the quantity of the public good satisfies the requirement that the aggregate marginal benefit equals the marginal cost of providing the good. Ingvar Svenelson the 14th of March 1908 to 1972 became known for his theories in planned economics other members such as Eric Lundberg continued as business cycle oriented economists Topic see also Rudolf Meidner Social Corporatism Constitutional Economics topic references topic further reading Carlson Benny Johnning Lars Knut Wicksell, Gustav Kassel, Eli Heckscher, Bertil Olin and Gunnar Myrtle on the Role of the Economist in Public Debate, Volume 3 No. 1, September 2006. Econ Journal Watch. Axel Lehonhofvid, The Wicksell Connection, 1979 Patankin, Don 1978. On the Relation Between Keynesian Economics and the Stockholm School. The Scandinavian Journal of Economics. 82, 135 and N-143. Doi 10.2307 JSTOR 3439878 Gunnar Myrtle's prescient criticisms of Keynes' general theory by Philip Pilkington a methodological issue ex ante and ex post Claude Ganos Gunnar Myrtle growth processes and equilibrium theory rules from Myrtle's monetary equilibrium Adrian de Leon Arias monetary equilibrium Clays Henrik Siver Stockholm University Myrtle's analysis of monetary equilibrium GLS Shackle Video Gunnar Myrtle lecturing at UCLA the 4th of May 1966